it's a sold out center court here at the Palace of Dreams. Magusha is 20, 26, Krill is 22, and you look at the weight of the scales there. Magusha coming in at 47.44, Krill coming in at 47.15 kilograms. If you look at their records, you'll realize then that um, pretty much even with 13 fights for Magusha, 10 wins, 2 losses, 5 KOs, 15 fights, 13 wins, a single loss, and a draw. Very interesting. 6 KOs for DJ Krill. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the champion. He is DJ Creel. DJ Creel is loved by many here at Center Court. He's been seen for quite a few fights now as one for the future. He's up against it all here in Magusha. He knows he's had two fights since their first fight last year. DJ Krill winning both those fights via a unanimous points decision. In fact, his last fight was a majority decision win over Tembilani Okolo. Before that, he had fought Dexter Alimento right here at the Palace of Dreams. His career built largely right here at Emperor's Palace. DJ Krill's career began at Gold Reef Entertainment Center in 2014 in April, where he fought Colin Trovata, losing on points. Out of the blue corner on my right at 47.15 kilograms. As a professional, 13 wins, just a single loss and a single draw. Six of his 13 wins coming within the distance. He boxes in the red trunks uh, with white trim. He hails from Melbourne East in Gauteng, South Africa. A proud member of Colin Nathan's hot box gym in Glen Hazel. The former Gauteng strawweight champion and the current WBC minimum weight international champion. He is DJ The Real Creel. Both fighters called to the center of the ring by the referee for the final instructions. Boxers, I gave you rules at the change room. Please obey my rules. Let the best man win. Shake hands and good luck. God bless you. Leather now. I mean, it's a 12 round fight, but it doesn't matter. You've got to go out there and throw punches in every round, as many as you can. I think Krill is cut. I think above the right eye, Krill is cut. DJ is cut. Well done. Oh, beautiful just... straight right hand. He, he led with that right hand, DJ Krill. And I've seen Makusha fight before. I, I've never seen him this timid. I've never seen him wait this long. He's waiting. Makusha landed with a lovely left uppercut there. Good round so far for Magusha. This fight really is going to go down to the guy throwing the most punches and landing the most punches. See some slow mo action from round three. Well, Creel definitely has got the advantage of landing the crisper, cleaner punches. But Magusha is putting on the pressure. <laughs> Krill trying to double up on that left jab. <laughs> so that's better, better work there from Krill to the body. Oli Samakusha from Whittlesea in the Eastern Cape province. Well, I must tell you, there's a big cat dangling for both these fighters. Should Kalusa, Kalisa Magusha win, he gets a shot at Congo in June or July. And should uh, DJ Creel win? Yeah. Nice one right there from Creel. Judge A scores 
four in the fight, 39 points, 37 Creel. UBC after four rounds. I'm sure Duncan Pollock is going to bring a the scores to, to 37 by the first judge. The second judge has 38 points to Creel and 39 to Magusha. He's got Magusha up. The fourth Four. judge. Yep, Magusha's ahead on points by two judges to one. It is a tough fight to score, Pirani, because Magusha is throwing more. I don't believe Creel should be do, fighting like that. And it's also Magusha. Who, who's forcing the fight, who's making the fight. And uh, Creel has taken the role of a counter-puncher here. Yeah, he's taking the role of a counter-puncher, and Creel is effective in a small punches like that. But he's got to up his work rate. Well, if you look at the scoring, Pumlani, the one judge has got it. Creel three, three points down after four downs. So, yeah, time to up the game. A good fight all the same. Oh, great punches from DJ Creel. It's exactly what... Get to the middle of the ring and throw those fancy combinations. Like that. That's better from Creel. Points. Last 10 seconds of round six. Stop! Jay Krill defends his title here against the Magusha. Oh, those are crispy, lovely combinations from Krill. I'm still surprised by the pace set by both these fighters. It's a bit too long to throw punches. Nothing really explosive for minimum weight fighters. Yeah, I agree from Ronnie. They, for their size, I mean, you should just go hammer and tong from when the first bell goes. And they really be... Yeah, but that's a good combination from DJ Creel now. He does a lot of things so well. If he doesn't do movement and throwing combinations, he gives Magusha all sorts of problems. But then, for some reason, decides to invite Magusha and say, you have a go now. Yeah, that's exactly it. You know, he's, he's got all the skills. Look at that hand speed. He's got brilliant footwork as DJ Creel. And he's got it all going for himself, but then he goes and hangs on the ropes and invites his opponent, like Magusha tonight, to come in. Oh, good, good uppercuts, good right hand from DJ Creel. All because he's up on his toes, throwing punches. Not he's going to take charge there. Stop, stop. Thanks, Use stop, what you got. Stop, Use your, your stop, speed. Stop, stop. Use your footwork. Okay. All right. He's better in the footwork in. department, okay. is DJ All Creel. Right. He's better at speed, stop. but he's got to use it from the center of the ring. Magush has come to fight, no doubt about that. He wants that title. Well, there we see some slow-mo action of round seven. Beautiful punches from DJ Creel. Oh, terrific stuff. And did it win him the round. We all know just now. After this round, we'll go. We'll get the WPC call again. I'll go back to the scorecards, but a good round, I think, for DJ Creel and what he needs to do. Enjoy control yourself, the center of the ring. There's a cut above his right okay. eyebrow, Beautiful round. Your range but it's not too bad. Stay in that position for me. Okay, make him miss, make him back. back. Good angle. Make him look silly this round. Okay. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. He's got a puncher, Creel. So, like I was saying at the end of that round, what he's doing now is good. He's got good speed. He's got wonderful footwork. And he's got good skills in the ring, but he needs to work right will give us the scorecard after this round, which will be quite interesting to see whether Magush is still ahead on points. He was ahead on points after four rounds. For me now, Creel's landing there. The more crispy punches like that with the right hand. The cleaner punches. Don't use the shoulder. Use shoulder. Oh, good right hand from Creel.
Well, I'd be very surprised if the judges don't score that round to Creel. The last three rounds, Creel's actually done very well. Oh, there's that right hand. Yeah, he's definitely closed the gap. 776, one point up. So your new leader is DJ Creel. Change for the books. He's done well the last couple of rounds with DJ Creel. DJ. And now he's ahead on points. Behind. Break, break. Yeah, he's falling quite far beyond. Six minutes. See some action in round nine. DJ Creel. Blocking punches, but throws back. Oh, look at that. Good round for DJ Creel. As we're going to round 10. There's that head that the referee has been warning about since the start of this bout. It's reached a stage then where Makusha will have to dig deep. Yeah, can he's win it on work rate. He can win it on throwing more punches, closing that gap, moving side to side. But right now, I mean, round 10, they're still out there throwing some really good punches. Maybe not enough by both of them. DJ Krill is winning. It, it just doesn't throw enough punches and combinations. One punch here, lovely punch, and then he appreciates his work. <laughs> yeah, he does. But um, he's got more punches. But he's looking good right now. All the same, DJ Krill. And it's certainly not that he's unfit because he's in really good shape. He yeah, has in tremendous condition, like that straight right hand. He knows Makusha has got no answer for it, but he throws just the one, just like that. Three right hands in. If you know your opponent's easy to, to hit to the right hand, throw them. Keep them going. Nice speed on the inside from DJ Creel. There's no doubt, Brian. DJ Creel is doing well, and he's winning a fight that when a rematch was announced, it was said it was going to be tough for him. He's found a way to beat Makusha here tonight, DJ Krill. He's found the way. Oh, nice work there from DJ. There is no doubt he's in command now. Ten seconds. It's all DJ Krill. Well, this is what he's got to know. He's got all the skills. He doesn't need to lay on the ropes. He's fought a tremendous... There we see those skills I'm talking about. DJ Kill spins his man out, bombs him with the right hand, boom, two right hands, left uppercut, whoop. Lots of good, good punches there. Against... Also Makusha from the Eastern Cape, there is that right hand again. Championship rounds as they call it. Yep, and that right hand can't miss now. DJ Kill is spot on. He's on song, he's on target. And he's catching his man on the button, on the money. Yeah, in round 11. Defending the WBC minimum international title. Makusha knows that if there's this distance between himself and Creel, he'll have no success. He needs to work on cutting the distance between himself and DJ for him to go to work successfully. Well, really, the only way that you're producing minimum weight world champions, Lindime Man, Zolani Petel, and the list goes on. He's got a good work rate. But I think he's just slightly out of his league now with DJ Creel. DJ Creel, as a 22-year-old, is starting to find a peak in his career already. And he's ready for the big guns in world boxing, I would imagine. Like last year. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Pumlani. If you look at that, the improvement between the two, Magusha's probably hasn't improved. He's just come to fight like he did last year. But Creel has done so much in the gym. And I mean, his sparring partner is, is Conco. 
some Piwi Conco is his sparring partner. Heki Butler is his sparring partner. Doesn't get much better than that. Here we see the penultimate round is over. Round 11 of that right hand. So good from DJ Krill. Expecting Nakusha to apply the pressure. He's not doing it right now. Oh. Krill has got good skills. It's the right. But he's really skillful and he's quick. And he does the job. And he's fought a very good fight. From round six on, it's be all been DJ. The second half of the fight's all been DJ clear. International title. Magusha is going to have to go back to the drawing board. Panani is going to have to learn, as you keep saying, that head movement. You've got to learn to go side to side when you're fighting good fighters. Otherwise, you're going to just take you're going to take gloves the whole night. You're right. And the movement of DJ Green, he's got just this elegant. Look at that. Yes, boxing. You fight. You use your hands. You throw punches. But if you have that mobility on your feet. Yeah, even more difficult to oh, no. fight. DJ Krill has that in abundance. He's got good legs. Very, very good skills. Tremendous skills. Oh, DJ Krill. Stop. And that's it. It should be race over that DJ Krill retains the WBC international title. Good fight. That big right hand. He's been eating right hands since round six. Or whatsoever. There's your winner in picture. They haven't called it yet, but we believe it should be a winner. DJ Creel. Happy faces, Colin Nathan, Bernie Palman. At Emperor's Palace, so it was a big, big moment for the both fighters to get this opportunity and have a go again in that rematch. So if they gave us scores after every four rounds, wonder why then at the end of 12 it takes this long to put those numbers together, the numbers that they would have given us, at least we got the score for the first eight rounds for sure. Yeah, it always never fails to amaze me at the boxing tournaments how they can take so long sometimes for a result which they've decided on every round. It should be a couple of seconds to score it. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give you the score. It was for the WBC minimum weight international title. It went the distance of 12 rounds. Our three judges scored it as follows. Judge John Shipanuka from Lusaka in Zambia scored the fight 118-110. John John, Judge John Chagu from Dar es Salaam in Tanzania scored the fight 118-112. And Judge Siababaza from Duncan Village in South Africa scored the fight 116-113 on a unanimous points decision. And still the WBC minimum weight international champion, DJ The Real Creel. DJ Creel retains his WBC minimum weight title here. Over 12 rounds, a unanimous points decision, a victory in a rematch against a tough game, Olisa Makusha. But it's the DJ who leaves the ring dancing with his belt.